Hello, today I have another wig show and tell for you guys today and this wig is brought to you by Beauty Forever Hair. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig, their direct store and social media links in the description box. And on the back of the box, it come with care directions for your wig. Inside this box, I received a headband, one stocking cap that is a nude color, and my wig came in that clear plastic baggie. Here is a close-up of what inside of the wig looks like. You get a 5x5 five five HD closure parting. You get two combs in the front, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material is a stretch fit material. The texture of the hair is jerry curl and it feels silky. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. Right here is a close-up of what the closure looks like. So again, this is a 5x5 five five HD closure. You can part it in the right, middle, or left. The hairline comes a little bit pre-plucked, but the knots do not come bleached. Off camera, I went in and bleached my knots. I used Quick Blue Bleaching Powder and 30 Volume Developer. I kept the bleach on for about 30 minutes to one hour. But I would mostly say I did it for one hour. After that, I went in and washed the wig and I left it to air dry and this is what it's looking like the next day. The hairline comes a little bit pre-plucked and it's really not that bad, but I feel like it can definitely use some more plucking. So I'm definitely gonna go in and customize it. I'm going to show a easier technique that I have been practicing with plucking my frontals and closures. Even though I'm plucking this on a closure, you can definitely use this method on a frontal and that video is definitely gonna come up later on in the month, so stay tuned for that. So first you just part the part that's already plucked into the, ah, I was about to say frontal, into the closure. I go in and wet the hair just a little bit with just some regular water in the bottom, not special, like room temperature. And I twig, I twig, ah! talking too fast i take the tweezers and i start plucking that harsh line of demarcation but don't pluck it too much because you don't want to make it bald that's the part that beauty forever hair already plucked now i'm gonna go in and take another small section of hair clip the other hair back make sure i spray it with water and then go in and pluck that harsh line of demarcation there's really no method to the way i'm plucking i'm just eyeballing that harsh line of demarcation and plucking random spots. It usually helps when you just randomly move your hand around instead of keeping it in one spot. But if you keep going, you're gonna start to see that harsh line of demarcation fade. I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about. I really want you guys to get better at plucking. So I just try to figure out other methods of plucking that could work for a lot of you. And I really feel like this is beginner friendly. It, does take longer compared to some other ways that people pluck their frontal enclosure but I like the end results on this not only because it's more easy but the gradient effect in the end looks really realistic and natural so stay tuned for my end results oh yeah another thing when you're plucking before you finish that row make sure you comb out that shedding hair that you plucked out because you don't want it to get tangled in the hair and get in your way Do y'all see the difference? Which side do y'all want? Y'all want the right side or y'all want the left side? Because the right side is giving me natural vibes, you know? You feel me? So now after this, I am going to go in and pluck it just a little bit more because that was the idea I had in my head. You could definitely leave it right here. You can stay right here. But I'm just going in and plucking the front line a little bit more. I just want it to be more jagged and I want to add like a little widow's peak in the front. In order to get that widow's peak, you don't touch by the middle part. You leave that middle part alone. Now I'm going in with my hot comb and I just press down the hairline. This just helps me see my end results and if I wanna pluck anymore. But after I went in and used the hot comb and smoothed it out, 
the hairline it's perfect it's the way I want so I'm just gonna stop right there on the next side I'm going to speed it up some more and cut out some parts because I don't want to hold up y'all day but if you guys want a full detailed tutorial, especially when I do the frontal, no cutouts, no edits, then feel free to let me know. I'll definitely do that. I just, I try to be considerate of y'all time. I'm not trying to hold y'all up, but let me know. Another thing I almost forgot to mention, if you want that widow's peak in the front, or even if you don't want that widow's peak, try not to pluck too much near that middle part. That's why I already went ahead and added the middle part so I know I didn't pluck too much hair from there. I hate when I pluck the whole hairline, then I go in and add the middle part, and the middle part start off really bald. So try to keep your tweezers away from that middle part. You can go in and pluck a little bit, but not too much. This is what my hairline is looking like, but I'm not done yet. I would like to go in and define the curls. So again, I'm going in with that spray bottle and in the spray bottle, I just have water. I spray that all over the hair and get the hair nice and wet. I don't want it drenched in water. I'm just lightly misting it with the spray bottle. Now I'm going to go in with this product called Nair Obi, and it's just a foaming lotion, like a mousse. And I just put some all over the hair and random parts, and I just comb it into the curls. So when the curls dry, it still have this nice, defined, soft look. It doesn't make the hair hard, but it definitely keep your curls nice and defined and soft. I would like two temple suit baby hairs, so I'm just taking out the baby hairs from now. And to help get the baby hairs to lay in that direction, I'm going in with my Andis hot comb. I mean, Galaxy Girl hot comb and just pressing down the baby hairs. Now I am about to go in with my gold glueless foam and I'm just putting a little bit on the hairline. Ooh, yes, it is coming along, people. So the baby hairs are just a little too long for my liking. So I'm just going in and cutting down the baby hairs. To cut off lace off my wigs, I like to use eyebrow scissors. I just feel like you have more control with the eyebrow scissors and it doesn't really give too much of a harsh line when you're cutting. I'm just cutting in little zigzag motions.
Um, I left the wig to air dry overnight and this is what it's looking like. The curls is still very soft and defined. On the inside of the wig, I went ahead and applied makeup powder and I applied it in a T. So I applied it to the hairline and the parting space, so it made a T. The powder that I used was this Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade that I have is 355. Right here is where I hooked my adjustable straps. This is going to be a easy slay. Well, I hope it's gonna be an easy slay. Let's see how this goes. I was aiming for like a little widow's peak right there and oh my god y'all oh my god oh my god wow. I had to whisper real quick because I felt like I was just really too loud because I was really too happy and excited but this looks so stop playing with my potential because what oh my god oh my god so um i'm just trying to calm down and i can't believe i achieved the widow's peak more plucking detail videos to come you guys don't worry don't worry don't worry all right Boom, 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 boom. All right, so I applied powder, but I feel like let me just dim it down a bit with the leftover foundation on my brush. This is the brush that I used to contour. And just wipe some off. One thing I love about this wig, it fits so snug. And the best part about it, you don't have to worry about your size. This is what the size look like, just in case you're curious for when the wind blow. And I think that's decent. It's better than having like a frontal wig and then your sides is all out lifting up like that. So I'd rather this than my frontal just, you know, there. And it's just a throw on unit. All right. I'm thinking if I should puff out the hair first or style the baby hairs first. Right now I just have the baby hairs like curled, nice and soft. I don't have any product on it. And it looks pretty good. Hmm. Looks pretty good. All right, so let me just style the hair. Um, I'm trying to think, should I frame my face with some layers? Let me see. Probably just a little bit. Yeah, let's add a little layer.
can we talk about how gorgeous and natural this wig looks? I am in love. I love it. The curl pattern is very beautiful. This hair is very soft. I don't remember the density of the hair, but whatever it is, all the details to this, um, the wig that I have on now will be in the description box. And it was so easy to apply. The best part about it, I don't have glue, gel, spray, tape, or anything on my hairline. It is just sitting on my forehead. Right now, my new favorite thing is 5x5 five five lace closure wigs. Like, that's my new thing. I just love putting it on, being on the go. It's just so easy to apply. Plus, you don't have to worry about your ear tabs lifting up. Yes, it's not as plucked well, it's not plucked at all, like a whole frontal, but I would rather this than having like my frontal lift up sitting there by my ear tab. This is good. This is good. I love it. I love it. When I um, was styling the wig, first when I washed it, there was no running dye. When I received the wig, it had no foul odor. When I bleached the knots, the knots took about an hour to bleach to my, dye, my desired result to my game of talk. It took an hour to bleach to get my desired results. For some people, um, they could leave bleach on for about 20 minutes and it looks great. But for me, it's like I check it and the knots is still not bleached. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I've been doing it like that for like years and it works for me. I don't see no complaints. When I was styling the wig, I didn't get any tangling. I did get shedding, but I do believe the shedding was caused by me plucking the hairline. I plucked a lot of hair out of the hairline. The density is really full, not too thick, not too thin. It's perfect. I've been looking for a wig like this for like a long time. I don't want it too long. I don't want it too short. I want it in between, but still have this natural, cute, lightweight look. Do I recommend this wig? To be honest, I do. It was very easy to apply, but you do have to go in and bleach the knots. And if you want it to look like mine's in the front, then you definitely have to go in and pluck the hair. But I hope the way I plucked it will be easy for beginners. That's what I was going for. Oh, you guys, I can't stop looking at myself because I'm just staring at the hair. It's just beautiful. I love it. I love it. And I have to go in and pluck the parting. I feel like the parting comes really nicely plucked. Uh, do I have any cons with the wig? I don't. I worked with Beauty Forever in the past, and so far I must say they have really great quality. The only issue I had with one of their wigs was one of these orange wigs that they dyed because it had a lot harsh line of demarcation, but otherwise the quality of the wig was really great. I recommend them. They have fast customer service. They usually reply within 24 hours, depending on what time you write them because it's a time difference in China and I'm in New York. I love it, you guys. Let me know what you think. Like, please let me know what you think. I really want to know because I feel like I did my best and I feel like it looks good. If you have any questions, though, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, you guys.